There was a bit of nasty ground down there. Pull up here and see how we drift. But gonna be starting off the day doing something a bit different. We got this thing right here. It's 100 mil smash crab. It's like a, it weighs like 40 grams. It's kind of a bigger crab presentation. And we're gonna try and sink it down. Uh, how deep are we? It's like 20, 23 meters here at the moment. And we've got this like rocky broken ground. I'm gonna try and drag the crab along, see if we can catch something. It'd be interesting. I've never really fished a crab like this before, so so the idea I've got is basically just drifting with this on the bottom and just dragging it over the rocks and that kind of thing. I don't know how else to fish a crab. There's a couple of fish there. Need something to just smoke it. Oh. Yep. There we go. Ooh. Gotta try and smoke him up. I just felt like these little things having a go on it and then oh, why does that feel so weird? This guy just smoked it, whatever it is. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a good trout. He's got it. Oh my god, he's got it. So, <laughs> he's got it so deep. How about that? There we go. I love when a plan comes together. What I could feel was it just going over his teeth inside. That's why it felt a bit weird because it was obviously a bit deep in there. There we go, right there. We have an absolutely beautiful coral trout. And I don't know how well you can see, but right down there is that, um, that crab, this smash crab. He's scoffed it in. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's fun trying different kind of techniques of fishing and um, definitely pays sometimes to think out of the box, throw something you know other people just aren't throwing. And we've got a lot of lovely coral trout here. He would be close to 50 centimeters, I'd say. We'll chuck him on the brag mat to check anyway. Well, there we go. That's the crab again there. 100 mil smash crab fishing it in like 18 20 meters of water at the moment now this guy's going to come home with us so we're going to bleed him chuck him in the esky and then we'll get back to fishing now that trout sorted got a bit of chafe on our line just from being right on the bottom and rubbing in the reef i wonder if i can just hover it over the bottom a little bit it's a little bit of a learning process as i've never really haven't really fished a crab like this before but makes it fun you know something different we'll um we'll get back up on that drift and we'll try again Right, so basically all I do, cast it way back behind me on the drift. Just the way we're drifting, my lure's going faster than the boat, so casting it down the back, it should drift towards us a bit by the time it hits the bottom. And then while it's on the bottom, we're drifting that way, and I'm kind of just dragging it with the current along these rocks. And that's how I just caught that fish. All right, well, we've done a couple more drifts and the current has really picked up. Like it's it's running very hard. It's making it very difficult to fish here, but that's okay. We've got plenty of other spots to go. So we're gonna make a bit, bit of a move, try fish somewhere else, see what else we can catch. Just made the move up into the shallows. And we will go back to throwing the big crab a little bit later on, but now just tied on the little mini version. It's a 50 mil, so the crusty crab. The most perfect conditions with the um, the clouds, but um, we'll see what we can do. So while we're up here in the shallows, basically we're looking for uh, black spot tusk fish. That's the main thing we're after, but there's a whole range of other species that we can come across as well. How's this guy? Cruising. I can't believe he hasn't been scared yet. No, he's pretty chill, this guy. See you, mate. Far out. Look at the size of that guy. Ah, oh, he saw me. He either saw me or heard me. Damn. Just about to cast at him. So hard with this bloody clown. All right, cruise that whole flat. Only really saw that one. Uh, while the tide's good, we're gonna check out another flat. Hopefully we can get it down up there. Alrighty, flat number two. 
very surprised how clean it is for um, being like a day or two from the moon. I'm hoping we can get over this little spit because it rises up and then drops. It'll be close. Oh, oh big tusky. I need to drop this. Oh no, he's swimming right at me. Hopefully he doesn't see. Oh, he's right in front of me. There's no chance I'm getting a cast at him. Oh, I should have adjusted that earlier. I had to like lift up the electric. Damn it. I couldn't, like I had to hold on to it. I couldn't just drop it in. It would have hit the bottom and spooked him. Have we got the stingray? Poof. Another stingray. so flighty man I just casted two meters away from that guy and he spooked it's just so calm and clear I've already spooked a couple just driving like I'm going so, I have to go so slow now just so they don't hear me but I think they're still seeing me oh, we've got a decent one up right up in the shallows here now he's swimming away gotta make a cast Hoping he sees that. Oh, oh no! Something else hit it. Unless that was him. No. Bloody hell! I think he did hit it. He just didn't eat it properly. Oh, it's frustrating. <sighs> Many hours of cruising the flats and finally get one bite. And I just, I just try to strike too hard. I should have just wound into it. It's only really the second one we've got a proper chance to cast at. All the other ones are spooked before I can get a bloody cast at them. Uh, well, first that whole flat saw quite a lot of fish actually, but um, I only really got one or two casts. And they're super flighty and I've spent three hours or so doing this. So I'm going to lose my bloody mind if I spend the next four or five hours trying to catch a tusky and um, they're just spooking before I can even cast at them. That's, I don't want to deal with that. So we're going to try and catch fish another way. Hello! He has a squid on it, man. Yes, sir. <coughs> See ya. See ya, man. She's gonna be working. Wow, it's pumping. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Shit! Holy! Come on! Bomb me, I'm trying to fish. <laughs> Oh, first drop, man. Couple hops on the bottom. Oh. Well, we just pulled up to the first spot we're at this morning. Oh, it's a stud trout. Look at that. Good trout. Oh. Look at this thing. Literally first drop. Whoa. Oh, well, can't complain about that, can we? All right, well, how about that? That's an absolutely, that's an absolute stud of a coral trout. Pulled up on the uh, mark we were fishing first thing this morning, as you saw, my good mate Matt's there. He's just got a trout as well, so it's, it might be happening right here, right now, on the squid, as you see there. Can't complain with that. Put up a good, a pretty good fight too. It's epic. The colors on these things are unreal. Yeah, we're gonna get this guy in the esky and then we're gonna get back up the drift and go again. Go on. <laughs> Man, that trout was like mid 50s. Really? It's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Literally... Yep. Oh, stop it. 
That's got trout rattles too. Yeah, it's definitely a small trout. Ah! He's probably legal. You know what? I, I took the brag mat out of my boat because I cleaned it and then I forgot to put it back in. Oh, he's got one of those big cysts on his head. Yeah, the little black thing. Like you pop it and all the black stuff comes yeah. out. Pretty fish. He's borderline legal, so we'll let him go. Oof. Wow. Oh. <laughs> he tried to murder me at the start. Oh. It's good grassy. There you go. There you go. Nice little sweet lip emperor, grassy emperor, whatever you want to call them, on the squid there. These guys release pretty well, so we'll, we'll let him go. Oh, I'm just about to drive up and see this little, might be hard to see, but you got this line that goes straight down. That's actually that fish swimming straight back down to the bottom. It's pretty cool. Now right, we'll head back up. Ah, uh, something small. We got another trouty. Yeah! That's a pr pretty guy. I, I'm pretty confident he's legal, but I don't have any brag mat to check, so I'm just gonna let him go. We've got a couple anyway. See mate. Whoa! Oh. Oh, squid is still kicking. All right, done two more drifts with um, without catching anything, so we're going to move on. The tide's like pretty much dead stopped now. We're barely even moving, and I don't think that's helping too much with the um, getting bites situation. Just pulled up at the next spot, and because the tide is very slack right now, just chucked the electric motor in just to control the drift. Actually, just found this spot on the run. I've never, um, I've never even fished here before, so it could be interesting. Just dropping that down now. Starting to come into a couple fish on the sound of there. Oh my god, this is big. There's a wreck down there. Crank that drag. Oh. just wants to go down. Oh. Come on. What do you want to go down so bad? Oh, this thing's huge. I'm way undergunned. Why are you so evil? Uh, no! Oh, come on up! Uh, 
Why do you want to go down so bad? I don't know what this thing is, but it's killing me. It's coming up. What the hell? getting close oh no you're kidding I was hoping it wouldn't be holy hell oh. I was hoping it would be something else oh, I can't get away from these things oh, oh my gosh it was just fighting that little bit too hard, you know? Jesus. Oh my Lord. I think he's got the squid, got the squid down real deep in there. There we go. That's the squid out. Oh, it's hard to hold up, but <laughs> he's proper 15 to 20 kilos. I'd probably say high teens or something, but he's so heavy on P3. Not exactly what I was expecting fish in the wreck. Bloody hell. These things fight insanely hard. You've never caught a giant trevally. You gotta give it a go one day. Oh, I can't hold him. They are just proper brutes. Holy hell. Do that on P3 tackle. I'm stuffed. Holy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I was going to do a little underwater release, but um, he was much more ready to go than I thought. They are one bloody tough fish. I think that's me done. I don't think I can drop again. I can't. Oh, that nearly ended me. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Peace. 